Now, speaking of failures, also in the news of late was Cloudflare, this time a cloud based company that provides content delivery network services or CDN services. It turns out that this company, which many other websites use in order to serve up their data, static data in particular, HTML and the like, had a bit of a bug whereby they were accidentally leaking some customers' data. In other customers' websites. In particular, in some cases, which to be fair were rare, but common enough that researchers at Google and beyond saw this, if certain web pages had HTML like this, where the tag was not fully closed as they are at right, what would happen is a so called buffer overflow, whereby data actually leaked out of their servers to the wrong customers. So, for instance, if a customer was very deliberately pulling up this music website here, they might actually see maybe later in the website or somewhere else in its source code. Code, text, or specifically HTTP headers and other data belonging to other customers. Now, who might those customers be? Well, if I'm visiting this music based website, I might actually be seeing data from other customers who have accounts on Uber or OKCupid or Fitbit or others, which is to say, even if I don't have an OKCupid account or Fitbit or an Uber account, I might be seeing someone else's data. Who actually does. So, suffice it to say, this is bad, but its origins could be traced to a very specific line of code. In fact, in C, on the servers that Cloudflare were running, were these lines here. And notice the check of two pointers, P and PE, for equality. The result of which was this because of that overflow error, it's possible that PE. Could sometimes be smaller than P. And so, simply by checking only for equals equals was the problem ultimately resulting. And so, had the check been done using greater than or equals to instead of just equal equal to, jumping over the buffer end would have been caught. A simple fix and a relatively simple problem with massive implications for customers' privacy.